Hello and welcome to Throwdown Thursdays. My name is David and today I'm joined by my good friend and fellow teammate Ashley. Hello. And today we are playing Carcassonne with the first expansion. <laughs> so we have the small meeple and then we have the big meeple, which, can, which is considered two meeple in one. Um, for the sake of this video, we're going to place them face down like farmers, just so you can see that they are the big meeple. And then the normal meeples we're going to play face up. Yeah. Uh, the expansion actually comes with two extra additional tiles. Uh, the first is what James has just placed down now, which is the cathedral. And then the sec second one are road pieces that have a uh, inn on them. What these do is increase the amount of points you get when completing the road or castle. So the cathedral will give you three points per tile castle piece when you complete the castle. And then the inns on the road give you two points. So roads are worth two points now and the castle are worth three points. The catch is if you do not finish a road with an inn on it, you get no points at the end. And the same with the castles. This cathedral here that James is building, if it doesn't get completed, he gets no points. So it's quite a high risk, high reward system when oh, you're playing really with this is, expansion. Yeah. I mean, this could score James like, you know, 10 points, and cost him 30 points, depending on how many tiles he gets. But the bigger it is, and the less likely it's going to be finished, then it's going to get him no points. Yeah. I said in the normal expansion, that's always going to give him at least a few points. Um, so how does this, how do you feel this differs, really, in comparison to the original Carcassonne? Oh, it, do, it does change the game because even. A simple road can get absolutely wrecked by an inn. Yeah. You could have an eight-point road, and all of a sudden, you could just ruin someone's road just by putting it on there, this inn. And all of a sudden, it just feels like impossible to finish this road. So it's not just and a... it's just a wasted meeple. Yeah, it is. So it's not just... You can see James here, he's got the uh, road going with the lake on it. So he's trying to finish that as quick as possible. You actually played a risky move here, because there's only two cathedrals. Uh, James has placed one, and you've placed one on your own castle. You could have placed it over on um, Sarah's, but you decided to go for yourself. Was that not being greedy, but it's quite early in the game? Maybe you it could is, finish it? I think it is. It's really early in the game. You could, and you could still finish it. Yeah, I could probably try and finish it. I mean, you've only got one, two, three, four. There's only four, t four sides, so it shouldn't be too hard. Yeah. We do know notoriously that these pieces are quite hard to complete when it's a solid piece. Now yeah. you've got another solid piece. Yeah, thanks, Natalie. Yeah, good old Natalie. But, um, yeah, I mean, to be fair, I would have made the same judgment. That's a lot of points if you could finish it yeah, off as well. Yeah, definitely. That would have been around, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, seven, uh, I'd say around nearly 30 points yeah. if you was to finish it earlier. It could be worth more now if you can gather it all. But, um, yeah, some of the tiles that they include, I think there's 18 new tiles that you add to the base game. And, um, yeah, they're so strange. Around them, you've got this one here, which is a through road, and it's a separate road on the side. You've got this one here, which has two castle, uh, two roads on the side of a, a castle. Yeah. Um, we'll point out other ones as they come along. I think there's a monastery with two roads on either yeah, side. Yeah, there as is, well. yeah. Yeah, really strange pieces, but they're kind of the pieces like this one that you've just placed down. Yeah. They're, when you're playing the base game, you think, I wish there was a piece that was just on the corner, but also <laughs> had a road here, and this is the piece. Yeah, perfect. Because sometimes piece. there's a road here, and you need the one that goes along. Sometimes it's just like this, but there's a road piece. Normally, you'd need like the starting piece wouldn't you yeah they go straight across yeah that's it but then if you've got a castle here then yeah it makes it harder yeah exactly so pieces like that are quite nice but there's only one of them yeah it, all the 18 new pieces are all all random you see natalie at the moment is skyrocketing across the board she's sitting down there at 28 points and she's got a nice nine points on the board as well like actually you're sitting there at 10 but then you've got 12 points as well notoriously when you're playing i feel like all your points are always on the board you never go for the quick Quick point, you want to make something really, really big. Oh, yeah. It does look more interesting. Mm. Like this massive spider castle that I'm trying to build <laughs> exactly. at the moment. It's ridiculous. You, you look at James's in the middle. Uh, it needs just one piece, and then he'll score a lot of points there. Yeah. So it's looking quite good for him, if he can get it, that is. That's it. When you play four players, it's really hard to mm. kind of get the tiles that you need. Yeah, exactly. So they could just go in an instant. Well, there's one of the pieces that he yeah, needs that's, to that's finish Yeah, that's what he Yeah, exactly. There's another new piece over there with uh, four castle pieces on the side. You can even play with the abbots because there's a lot of pieces in this one that have um, flower flower beds as well. Yeah. Which is really, really nice. One, two, three. Yeah, you've still got like four spaces before, before you can finish that castle. But still, you know, you're only halfway through the bag at the moment. So yeah. we, can, we can still do it. I still want to have a ten tiles for you. Yeah, that's it. There's a, the monastery with the two roads on the side. I find with this expansion, there's a lot more gaps as well. 
because of the strange just the way it always pans out there's always like gaps everywhere yeah definitely I know I mean like like we said it's not always your main focus to do a finish a castle sometimes it is you know keep an eye out on what your opponent could possibly score and then you know sabotage it by putting a lake on their road or yes yeah well the two cathedral pieces are still gone I'm not too sure how many lakes there are. I think there's around five or six but um obviously James finished that nice piece in the middle which we missed out on uh, yeah, so that got, really nice. I think I got him like 16 points, 2, 4, 6, 8. Yeah, 16 points. Yeah, normally you'd, yeah. Only you'd get him 8. It's a brilliant road. Yeah, exactly. Actually, you've got, still got two meeples, which normally, you got your meeples, I feel like your meeples are always out there. Yeah. Within the first, like, 10 rounds, they're all, they're all gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll gone. try and play them as much as I can. Really. <laughs> and then just try and finish the feature yeah. as quick it's as just, you can as well. I'm just looking at this board now, just looking, I'm just like, I can't see anything finishing here, me getting any of my meeples back. No, well, you've got... Um, Monastery here. Yeah. So he needs his one there. Then you've just started a new castle. That's definitely going to take a while to finish. Yeah. Got another monastery up here. You still need a few more tower pieces to finish that. And you've got a monastery here. You need several pieces here. And then you've stuck uh, two meeples here. You've stuck a big meeple on this road here. But they've both got lakes on them. You could have. <laughs> they're not getting you any points. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's. Sometimes you're looking around the board. Obviously, Natalie and James have shot off ahead and you're still sitting there at 13. So you're probably, I don't know, maybe you're trying to get more, finish a road piece really quickly. Yeah. Now, there are pieces out, end pieces, like James just got one there. Then Natalie placed one earlier. Um, but yeah, if you can finish a road really quickly, you know, that three points will turn to six points. If you get two of those, that's 12 points. That's one more point to your monastery and possible finish this oh, castle. Man, yeah, if I could finish this castle, then... I think you would, you'd easily win the game. Yeah, it'd be amazing. Was there 16 tiles left? 15 tiles left. And that's 14 points already. If you finish it, 15, 16, times three, that's a lot of points. Yes, a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 32, 44? 44 points. Let's just say 44. Math is bad. <laughs> um, yeah, Natalie's so close to finish this castle piece as well. This is going to definitely put her in the lead if she can finish this. I'm just worried for her. James has uh, scored quite a few little castles. That's why he's so far up front at the moment. You can see he's only got nine points on board for the majority of the game. He doesn't have a lot of points on board. All his are just coming from, you know, quick castles that he's made over here. Yeah. He made a nice play here. Natalie could have finished that castle on her turn. But he decides to play this this piece down here and it stops her from actually finishing the game. Yeah, the that's castle. a nice move. Yeah, exactly. So half her points for that turn. Do you think that maybe the expansion would be nicer with two extra castle pieces, cathedrals? Or just is two enough, do you think? I think two's enough. Yeah? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Well... Oh, that is the end of the game. So Ashley, unfortunately, you end on 13. And James has got the most at the moment on the board with 45. But we can see you've still got a lot of points on board. So James actually ends with uh, 54 in total. Natalie on 67. Ashley, you on 40. And then Sarah on 48. So well done, Natalie. Yeah, well done. How would you... Again, it's hard to say how would you play with this version. With the normal card zone, it's quite easy so just to make castles and roads and stuff. With this, you've got the added components of possibly losing points for your castles or your roads. Yeah, that's right. But what, what do you kind of look for when you get that lake or you get the cathedral? I don't know. When I first when we first started playing this expansion, it was quite a nice feature to have a a road that was all the tiles cost two points. Yeah. But as this game kind of progressed. You kind of feel like the cathedral and the lake cards are really good sabotage cards yeah. for other people. Mm. Like if we'd have got that cathedral at the end there, and I, I know James kind of messed up Natalie's castle anyway. Yeah, but he could have put that onto there, and she yeah. would have scored no, no points. points at all. So yeah, it, yeah. it can be good <clears throat> and it could be bad. Yeah, that's know? that's worth eight points for her. Yeah, without these two extra bits, and if you put the cathedral there, that's eight points that she's not getting. Yeah, that's right. That would have put her down to 50, uh, fifty-nine, a little yeah. bit closer. James would have been, which is nice. You actually played. We missed it whilst playing, but you actually played a nice piece here. She was, it was only two points, but Natalie had two points here on this road, and you had a, a road with lake on it. And you just kept them together, and that just removed those two points. Yeah, it's not a lot of points, but that road could have been worth a lot more. Yeah, definitely. And the same thing, like you said, with the castle, just placing the cathedrals. So you think maybe two is enough, two cathedrals? Yeah, definitely. They yeah. could they could still come out all together. Like they came out really early. Yeah, they did. So I feel when they come out early, it's probably your first incentive is to put it on your own castle. Yeah. I mean, you put it on so early, you, 
easily had another like 15, 16 tiles to finish it. It's just a bit annoying that Natalie placed this one as well yeah. and extended it that much more. I mean, if you take away this one, you might be able to finish yeah, it. Knows, finish it, maybe. Yeah, yeah it's quite hard. Because I've got, I've got tiles over here as well. Yeah, exactly. like I've got end, end tiles here. The only reason I put that over here and not put it over here is because it was an extra point. Yeah. And I know I weren't finishing that bit faster <laughs> anymore because that was really like at the end of the game. Yeah. So. And to be fair, a lot of these pieces you could have added. You could have made a castle in itself and got more points. Yeah, definitely. But you were probably so focused on trying to finish it because yeah. it is worth a lot of points. Yeah, it is. I, that that was over forty points, I reckon. It's a massive game changer. Ah. I quite like the expansion. It's quite good. I personally prefer maybe just playing with the big meeples and then the standard version. Yeah. Because that's pretty fun. You know, getting two meeples onto one cathedral sometimes is a little bit difficult, but when you can strategically place that big meeple that is worth two and it overthrows that person straight away. Yeah, no, yeah. It can be very uh, interesting with the big meeples. But no, it's a good expansion, this. I, I quite like it. Yeah. We'll have to play the second one and the third one next. Yeah. Mm. We'll get them all out there. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next time. Goodbye.